was born in New Zealand and that, of course, this could be a very live issue for him. It was a funny one, Kumi, because it hadn't really been written up by the mainstream media in a legitimate way yet. I kind of tossed up that day, I remember, when I was you know, thinking about what I would ask the Deputy Prime Minister. Should I ask this question? Is it really a live issue? And I made the decision, which I'm very thankful I did, that I should ask him that, in fact, you know, this was after Matt Canavan had to stand down from Cabinet, that this, of course, came after the Greens having to resign from Parliament, which they decided to do. I'm sure they have some regrets there, but uh, let's get on to that in a minute. Um, big regrets, I reckon. So I thought I'd ask him exactly what his, what his status was, given his father was born in New Zealand. Now, he responded saying, you know, it's ridiculous, my father was born here, but in fact, through his mother's side, there's generations of, um, of Barnaby Joyce lineage here in Australia, and that his, his father's status had no impact on his... And he made it clear that he hadn't applied, and therefore, how could he be a New Zealand citizen? I did follow up by saying, which we can, you know, throw to this clip in a second, but well, shouldn't you check anyway? I did mm. kind of pointedly say that. Shouldn't you check anyway? Because this, there's a cloud over so many people. That's and right. this has become such a live issue for politicians. This is the Deputy Prime Minister of the government. Um, let's throw to it. Let's have a look at what he had to say. Are you a New Zealand dual citizen? Your father is a New Zealander. And if you look at uh, the Twitter no, sphere I'm, today... I'm, I'm, no, I'm not. I'm not a New Zealander. You have to apply, you can't get it by descent, you have to apply to become a New Zealand citizen. I've never applied to become a New, New Zealand citizen, nor do I want to. I'm very proud of being an Australian citizen. I, I was born in Tamworth and uh, I am Did you seek to clarify this issue around the New Zealand citizenship, though? I'm, because, I'm, of course, I'm the language of the Constitution is quite specific. I'm only too happy for anybody to go out and clarify it. You know, it's, I've got absolutely nothing to hide. It's, but it's, it's ridiculous. I've never applied to become a New Zealand citizen. And you have to apply to become a New Zealand citizen. I never applied to become a New Zealand citizen. I mean, these, these, these red herrings have been dragged in from everywhere now does seem extraordinary a couple of weeks later, Pat. And the question that you raised there is, you know, given there's so much scrutiny around this, you'd think that triple checking, quadruple checking would be just part and parcel of so many people are sitting there in Parliament. That's right. And in fact, um, that's what they have been doing over the last few weeks, which is why I put it to him. You know, he might call it ridiculous, extraordinary. We might agree, actually. I'm sure many people do. Australians watching this right now think, wow, the fact that your father or your grandparents are born somewhere else could have such an impact on your own identity and your own entitlement to run for parliament. That's actually a genuine issue. And obviously the High Court will try to settle this. And thank goodness, because I think this is an extraordinary situation beyond Barnaby Joyce that we're in, that our politicians, you know, are like falling like flies. But ultimately, you know, you've got to wonder, you would check it, wouldn't you? Now, we know now, obviously, because he's put it on the public record, that he's now, what, what ended up happening was that the New Zealanders actually contacted Barnaby Joyce and said, hey, you know, you're a citizen. Um, and we know now that the Prime Minister of New Zealand says, well, you know, whether he, whether he likes it or not, unwittingly is the word he used, he's a New Zealander. Now, what has to be clarified now by the High Court, of course, is whether what Australia decides, I mean, we all obviously have a have a right to determine uh, our own constitution and, and interpret it, and that's the, the point of the High Court, that's why it exists. So we will be able to get a final outcome on this. But there is so much politics in all of this. I mean, the Labor Party has gone extremely hard today, Tony Burke really prosecuting a very, very strong case. And the question they ask, and I think it is a question that, that you know everyone will be putting to the government, is why is Barnaby Joyce's case different? Now the gov government argues to Matt Canavan's, that is, you know, another national who stood down from cabinet. Uh, the government's argument being, well, there was an application, even if, uh, of course, uh, we know Matt Canavan didn't make it himself. It was his mother in his case, but there was an application from uh, from Matt Canavan with Barnaby Joyce. No application. He's just entitled to be a New Zealand citizen and it makes it rather complicated. It's so complicated. So many grey areas. Pat, so appreciate your time, especially as you're getting ready to go on air for us. Thank you so much. See you soon. Thanks, Kumi.